Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the search using data grid view using cshop.net. Here this is the table I have created. Uh, I have created the database bank. I have a, inside the database we have a table called account. Inside the table these are the fields are there. ID, account number and balance. Simple program, right? This is a very simple program. Uh, when the person enter the account number, the relevant employee details should be displayed. Okay, uh, account number and balance, right? Now I just put it only balance. If you are, if you want to the uh, account holder name, you will be able to add the column here as account number holder and balance, right? I just enter only the one column. Okay. Here, let's show the demo first here. Let's click start button. Now here, it asks to enter the uh, account ID. So, if you enter the account ID from, what is the account ID? I just entered A001. Click find button. Here, account number A001, balance all the stuff display. If you are two, it will be displayed account order two balance. And three, it displays the three balance here. Same balance. If you enter the four, find record not found, click here, there will be no records are there. If you click five, there will be no records are there. It's very essential program, right in csharp.net. It's very simple. Uh, I hope you uh, know the design, how to design this form. I no need to design again by again. This is, the, this is called as text box, right? I just get the text box from the toolbox. This is called as data grid view. I get it from here and put it here. Right. This is the button where I get it from the toolbox right here. Uh, if you want to get the tool simply, you just type the name over here. You just drag the button. Right. That's the thing I have did so far. Now here, what I'm going to do is here. Uh, this is a button. Right. Button I have changed uh, this one. Flat style. Right. If you have a default come as this one. Standard. If you want, you can put it here uh, flat. It's look like this this is a te text big uh, text box also I have changed the styles right you will be able to change the styles over here text box also you will be able to here we have a style change here right you will be able to border style we have give noun if it is uh, default come as single or 3d okay now I am going to change it as a none mean like this okay this uh, I have changed the color as well this color I have changed right okay this is the color if you have black I give okay the simple form I have designed after the what I did here is when you click the find button first have go to the if you double click the find button first I have had the namespace for connecting the uh, SQL server I have used the SQL server in uh, in my machine SQL server 2012 you will be able to use this latest version uh, latest, latest version uh, you will be able to use it okay the same thing you will be uh, use it here now I, I have connected here only windows authentication you will be able to connect uh, sql authentication as well if you are going to connect the sql authentication you will be able to provide the uh, user credential here username you have to give the username and pa us username and password right i just give as a windows setting and we no need to connect the username and password here i just connect it if you connect like this you can put it here the windows authentication you have to put it here in that integrated security true make it as integrated security is true it is uh, never ask the username and password right you just log in right okay here this is the server server is a local server dot this is the database bank this is the uh, this is how we have established the database connection uh, visual studio to uh, sql server right uh, we have created the class SQL class it is reside on the namespace which is a SQL client after that this is the button if you double click the find button this is the button where we write the code right so first I have add the adapter SQL data adapter after the data set we have added uh, data table we have added data view I have added D data row we have added these are all the things I have created the objects right each each things I have created the objects different objects data set data table data view and data row right these are the name of the object right i just give the names like this so here first i am getting the data adapter here 
what is the data adapter equal data adapter i have written the query okay this is the essential stuff to we have find the database this is the parameter we have used right so here select all from account which table account table say account table select all from account we all the data we have to select from account table where account number equal we have put one parameter p1 mean you have give any name here p1 or p2 any name this this called as parameter we have passed parameter just parameters okay you must use it use use it this one this is a very standard stuff when you uh, return the code in uh, visual studio this, this is a standard one right this is a connection this is the connection object we have to throw it here after that we have second one the same data adapter equals select param select command dot parameter dot add new parameter new sql parameter this one we have to throw it here you have to give the data type this is the char because this is a char I means char means this is the uh, we have entered the a001 all the things are char you have data type you have just provide the uh, length of that one i just provide as to uh, uh, to uh, here we have to provide as 20 you will be provided if it is a uh, the id if they are long length you will be provided here as 50 or 60 or whatever it is no problem uh, right here after that what i did here is this is a text box where are you text this is a text box i am going to name it t 011 right so d, this is a text box name so here what i did is this same data adapter dot command parameter this parameter what is the parameter you have throw it here dot value here what's the value you are type on this text box it is it is assigned to the this parameter okay we have to assign to the this parameter this parameter we have to call it here it is throw it here okay this is checking all the stuff whether you are entering correct or not okay uh, this normal you are the you just uh, you, uh, uh, I, I i i have put it the many videos i just put it to one text box is assigned to the particular variable and we have to throw it here and search that is not professional way this is a professional standard way okay it is all the stuff it is checking whether your data type is uh, correct and you you enter the value all the stuff connect then only it, it will be search okay okay this is the standard one you have to use you have to use a parameter you have to pass it here this is a standard search you are using uh, visual studio.net after that we have data set i have get the data set we have already written data set object over here equal new you have to create the object new we, all the stuff you have to create the object new okay after the data set dot table get enumerator you have to put the data enumerator this is how we have to uh, load the table right table data set dot there will be the property uh, table uh, property called table dot get enumerator after the data this data adapter dot fill we have to fill the uh, adapter we have to fill the data set first if we have to put it like if right after that we have data set this is a data table we have to get data table dot uh, equal this uh, data set dot table we have to fill the, all the values right what is the uh, matching value we are loaded here okay what's the id you are typing on the text box the relevant data information will be loading here okay we have set the data center if the id is match it is matching here yeah? if table this table okay this table data table dot rows dot count equals zero if the id is match uh, sorry if the ids do not match it so show the error uh, message box show record not found if it is if it is how the id is found it goes to the data grid view source it's a data set what is the data set what is the idea there it is filling on the data source right okay this is the thing we have to do very simple one you have to make it as the search look like this is all the code i provide in my this one we no needed data or this one all new needed right this only things we needed okay this is simple code here i have shown the another another time here it is fine successfully okay it's very simple okay here it's not found okay okay Good. this all the uh, course uh, code i provide in my twittersfunny.com website thank you for watching this is how we have created the search uh, criteria in visual studio professional way uh, thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching